after long, long battles and long, long times of waiting and other really deep phrases that I can't really say. I am back with another tutorial and this time we're doing the chromatic tutorial except better. And I mean much better because the other one, it just wasn't effective if you had the the samples like different pitches if we had like a sample at c4 one at c5 and one at b6 let's let's say they're not the same they're not at the same frequency so it would just sound weird if you put them in the piano roll in that staircase shape because they wouldn't align that well so now we're gonna do the new tone version and i know what you're thinking uh new tone is not free you need to pay for new tone. Uh, that's where you're wrong, actually. That is where you're very, very wrong. Uh, let me just get my samples, because I just made a bunch of samples right here. Uh, all right, let me. So that's A. Uh, this is A. This is E. And this is O. Now don't, get now don't get confused because the letters don't really match the pronunciation of the English alphabet, but, well, sorry for not being English. Anyway, so first, obviously, got to do the tune loop thing. So this is the sample. Uh, this is just my plain voice because I want to I wanna do something with this. So, so open an audio editor, get rid of all this blank space. We don't need it. Uh, this works. sucks this isn't it's not I don't like it let's do it again eh, fine works for me right select all that tools send to select the channel uh, make sure you have this channel selected so you don't accidentally export a to the e channel I'm just saying all right <clears throat> So that's that. Uh, use loop points, please do. What? What's insert one? Uh, oh yeah. By the way, you might want to you might want to get a tremolo, uh, a vibrato. I'm sorry. And just make sure you uh, speed do it like this probably. Uh, Works for me. <clears throat> Good. Uh, this is the S sample. Audio editor. Uh, I can close that for now. Get rid of the blank space. Uh, no, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's, uh, let's not do that. Let's. Uh, Yeah, this will this will be corrected by the tune loop. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, send to select a channel. I would say. Yeah, there it is. All right. Next up is I. E. I mean E. Sorry. Terribly sorry. Uh, just get rid of. Get rid of all these sudden variations because you're not gonna want them. All right. Oh yeah, you also want to amplify them because they would they won't be. They need they need to be noisy. So send to select the channel. We'll work on amplifying them later. 
uh, open uh, edit an audio editor blank space this one works good amazing tools same to select the channel good so now we have all the samples done right uh, let's actually hold on let's 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 amplify them so open an audio editor alt a is amplified just so you know and I use I usually use this it just uh, it just amplifies them as pretty much the level you want so you want them to be this big if you have the default zoom all right we go to a hold on this is what is insert one I have no idea what that is it's probably because I put it over sampler. Did I put it over sampler or did I delete sampler? I don't even remember that. All right. Control E, Alt A, accept. That should do. Uh. Oh wait, 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 wait. I'm, I am. Hold on. I'm bad at the game. Alt A, accept. Select all, and send to select the channel so you have it here. So now it's that big. All right, now edit an audio editor. Do that. Control. Uh, send to select a channel. I. I mean E. Sorry. Control E. Alt A. It's so weird to. Oh wait, no. This one's already. E this one's already pretty okay. Or is it? E oh. Hold on. How's this one? Uh, eh. Oh, this one's too loud. Uh, let me just... And just do these a little like that. Now that's something. Okay. Uh, tools, send selected chat. Oh no! Oh goodness gracious! Oh my goodness gracious, I sent it to the wrong channel. That's exactly what I told you not to do. Alright, you know what? I'll be right back when I'm finished with all this because you don't. You get. You know what to do. You already know what to do. Alright, we, we got the samples. We got them here. They're all here good so now what do you do you go in piano roll you go to A and you uh. place a long note and I mean kind of this long and it needs to have a little space in between just just to be sure it works so kind of this long and you do that for yeah. all four of your notes or however many samples you have that wasn't grammatically cool. correct, but I'm going with that anyway. Cool. You got this. And guess what you do next? You do that. Actually, this. How many notes do you want to have? So one pattern is eight notes. Oh, eight notes. Four notes, sorry. Uh, let's say you want to have 36. So you need to have, I think, nine of these babies. So five, six, seven, eight nine that should be 36 notes all right one two three four and the rest is five cool and what do you do with this well you go to file and obviously export and export it this is crucial export it as an mp3 uh i'm going for chromatics plus silent Beta? Do I have Pasilid Chrome in here? I'm sorry. Do I have a chromatic for Pasilid in here? Because if I do, it's just it's it's not the good one. Anyways, uh, chromatics. I do have one. Oh no, that sucks. No, let me just. That's not even there. Wasn't ever. Pasilid Chrome Beta. But it's 
call it alpha. For some reason, I don't know, I just need to have something in there. Now make sure, as you can see here, it has eight. The length is eight bars. Why? Because this is a pattern. Make sure it's full song so you get the whole, uh, the entire, um, I'm sorry, you get all 36 notes. Because if you go for a pattern, you'll only get eight because that's how it gets repeated and that I think that's kind of how it works. And it's only gonna be eight bars long. Now, tail, you don't mess with any of these, just make sure it's full song. So you go start, it's gonna take a while. I mean, depending on your, depending on your software, I guess, depending on how, how $5,000 your PC is worth. Good, and you have it, Poseidon Chrome Alpha. Uh, hold on, let me just, let me just do something. Old ones, right? Right, okay. Oh my, why is it, dude? So Mugen, Soyoung, Vex, and Yeet. And these are gonna be Alphas and Beas, lol. And you put this. No, you didn't want to do that. Alphas and Beas, lol. Right. So you got this, and I will load it in here. I highly recommend putting it in the channel rack. However, because it will just be there. It is. All right. You mute this track. You don't need this anymore. You can just delete it, but I'm not doing it because you're, you never know when you need it. And you have the chromatic is here. So that's the whole thing. You edit it in pitch character and that's going to send you to new tone. You can close down the channel rack, but you got to wait for this guy to go. So here comes the pretty, pretty tedious part, All right? You can maximize this because Newton is pretty much going to be the only thing you're working with for the following 10 minutes, I think. All right. Now, as you can see, Newton is really good because it literally shows what pitch your samples are. So the off sample is in, is just below C4. Now as you can see it's a little shaky, it has this little shaky line, so you gotta go variation to zero. Center also zero so that it's, no wait, actually center to max so that it's right in the middle of the row otherwise it would just be a little funky. And trans, if you set it low now look closely at the edge of this, right over here. See that if you, it just has this little line. And if you go variation, look at how it looks. So you wanna set these two to zero. And there you have it. Now you wanna go from C4 upwards till they're, till they're finished. That's usually how I do it. And sometimes they're gonna be sequenced like this. I, mean, I don't know if that's the right word. Just. There's gonna be a line in there. It, you, you just, you don't really care about that. You just treat it as the continuation of the sample because that's what it is. And now you might find this kind of sound familiar because that's literally how autotune works. It shifts your tone to a different pitch. All right, I'm gonna, Pause this because it's gonna get really annoying, especially when I get to the higher pitches. So, um, wait, no, I might actually, hold on. How does this sound in C5? It's a little too high in C5. You might wanna do that, hold. On. C3 it is then. 
so C4 is kind of like gonna be the middle thing so I'm, I'm gonna move all these and then I'm gonna see how it works so that I can get C4 to be the middle which is kind of weird because C4 is not the middle. It's weird. My samples are weird for some apparent reason. I don't know why. Anyway, here's the pause and we'll I'll come back with the next step. Okay, I'm pretty much done with the staircase. Oh, I can just hold on. Can I? I can't for some apparent reason. Anyway, this is how it's supposed to look. I put it no. a little lower on the um, on the grid so that C4 is almost in the middle, I think. Is it in the middle? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, there's 36 notes anyway, so it can't really be in the middle. It's somewhere around there. I guess it works. So the lowest note sounds like this. Ah. Uh... And the highest note sounds like this. It doesn't even sound like my samples anymore. You can save this now. I'm gonna save it in... I'm not gonna save it at all. I am not. All right, and now you might be thinking, well, to export this, to save this thing, save, uh, you hit save, and you go in the comments, but when I go into my folder where I saved it, it's not there. Well, that's because you can't export it if you didn't pay for it, which is pretty stupid and it just makes the whole thing a little harder, but there is a very easy solution to that. You see, now we finally have a use for our old friend Audacity. So we're gonna have to record this, the whole sample. We're gonna have to record that. And in order to do so without getting any noises from the background, you go in here, select the third one, and select the speakers here. The recording channels gotta be stereo and speakers are the only ones when you have the third one selected here. Now I'm going to pause the video, but just so you know, I'm going to hit record and then go in here and press play so that it plays this uh, normally. And then I'm going to just wait for it to end. When it ends, I'm going back in Audacity and I'm hitting stop and I'm going to have the whole thing recorded in here and just export that as an MP4 and it's going to be the chromatic. So I'm going to pause the video and then I'll come back with the result. And we're back. Here it is. This is, now ignore the fact that it looks really funky at these parts. It just goes under the line over it. And also ignore that my, uh, the all sample is just, oh, oh, oh. It, it goes, but look at that. It's not supposed to be like that, but it's still a chromatic, just ignore. Boop, get rid of all this space. And here you have it. You can export this as an... I usually export this as a, as a WAV file for some apparent reason. Do I export the rest as a WAV file? Is that what I do? Good ones? I export it as MP3. Yeah, sorry. Export MP3. There we go. In... Wait. <clears throat> this is voice banks. Uh, chromatics, good ones. Call it a silent prom. There we go. Okay, now wait for it to load. I mean, wait for it to export. You can close this. I I will save it in here. So passive prom them something like that I'm not gonna keep it anyway I'm just saving it for the video for now now what do I do what what do you do you can close down Newtone and watch out once you close it down 
you gotta make sure first that you have it export like the actual chromatic because once you close it down there's no way back you have to do the whole thing all over again and listen to that annoying recording of yourself so here's the chromatic hopefully this is the right one and we'll load it here and now <clears throat> select right click open a new slice X channel right click on this button dull auto slicing and there you have it that will create a staircase thing in the piano roll we'll just whoa where is it a silent crumb number two so the first sample should sound ah uh, is not the right one wait is it the right one uh, it's not the right one what the hell what in the world Is it the right one? Uh, chromatics. God, please tell me I saved it. Well, thankfully, I did save this stem. Because I'm pretty sure I recorded the right thing, right? Uh, yeah, it's this. So then, what happened? What is this? What's this? Uh, so this is the wrong one. This is the alphas and betas. Good ones. This is also alphas and betas. No. Take this from here. And just put it in here. Go on good ones, delete this one. Cool. Pasilic Chrome, what's wrong with you? Uh, it's this one. Uh <coughs> Uh, channel rack just delete this guy for now also this guy also for now take Pasilochrom so it's this one it's in here good no oh I think I know why it does that I think I got it I got it All right slice X doll close everything down and you know why it does that? it does that because I didn't delete these guys I did not delete these guys uh, there we go there it is so Pasachrom number 2 it's got 36 notes and it looks like a staircase a really nifty staircase if you ask me it, it's a little funky but you can just take it, put it there. It looks a little funky like this, but it doesn't really matter. So, this is a chromatic. You can just you can delete that and go. You can place notes on it. You can do whatever you want. And for a demonstration, I'm going to make an accelerant cover on the spot because that's what I do. Oh, sorry. I can close this down now because I have the chromatic this too and let's <clears throat> let's make a new one uh, accelerant is kind of my test thing it's usually how I test chromatics so we're gonna need the accelerant accelerando okay we're gonna need the accelerant midi we use oh god what did I do uh, I'm gonna use I'm only gonna use Hanks we're not gonna get to the tricky part anyway we're just testing it so we'll call this a silent call it no dude call this BF boyfriend's chromatic scale open a new slice X channel it's right there. Hold on for just a moment. And now, boyfriend chromatic scale. 
This one's a little too low, I think. That is a little high. Okay, this one. Uh, BPM is 164 for those wondering. There. That's BS vocals. And now, for the good part, Psylochrome. We're also gonna open this in a slice external. We're gonna dole out a slice. Piano roll. Psylochrome, delete all that. Uh, this, bum bum, bum bum. I think it's. They're a little too. Uh, excuse them for not being a little. Oh, yes. There we go. <laughs> Right. Uh, you get the idea. It's not the best chromatics. I, it's not the best chromatic I've done. It's a little rushed. The samples have a weird start to them. I will redo it. But just so you know, I have a test cover. Uh, I'm not saving the changes to this. We don't need this. We don't need that. Um, we can go in. Song stems. Song stems. I said. Test accelerants and. It's a chromatic I made for a friend. It's gonna take a while to load. Because he has like the whole instrumental and everything. Okay. And I think this is also. Yeah, I actually made the whole chromatic in here. Where's the instrumental though? Where is the instrumental at though? Where is the instrumental? In. Okay. Uh, I will. Oh, is that? So yeah, that's how you make a chromatic with new tone without buying new tone using audacity. By getting audacity, you need to get audacity. Audacity is a must have if you're making FNF songs. Uh, fun fact, actual fun fact, uh, save changes, yes please. Actual fun fact, I tried making and actually made all those Wait, do I have any music? Do I? Have... Yeah, I do. Um, all those covers that I have on my channel, like, oh, I'm I'm not getting on my YouTube page. You guys are my, you guys are gonna make fun of my recommendations. Anyway, the um, the lo fight, the um, Aspire and the ballistic covers, they're made in Audacity entirely, and that's why they sound a little weird. But I'm not complaining because I was anyway kind of I was bad at everything when it came to FNF modding so I'm proud that I actually got to do this and got to teach you all this because I'm really happy you guys appreciate me and still appreciate me I'm glad FNF modding is still a thing 
I'm surprised the game hasn't died out yet because I was out of my FNF phase and I'm I kind of still am out of my FNF phase and I've been so for like a month or two um, that obviously doesn't mean I'm gonna stop making tutorials is just expect them to be very very distant from one another in terms of time kind of like I have my YouTube upload schedule now and like I always had it um, tutorials not gonna come very often pretty pretty rarely because I don't get the ideas for them I just decided I could get to share this idea with you guys it's a little life hack it's a little lifesaver uh, yeah that's that's all there is this one has been one of my most awkward videos yet and without further ado I will end the video without telling you to subscribe or like or anything even though I just did uh, have a wonderful day that's all that matters because I goddamn sure certain I am having a wonderful day today it's something happened and, and I have a really good day and I hope you do too because I, I care about my people so now I leave you to your other stuff. You probably have better stuff to do than listen to a guy talk about his personal life. Have a good one.